Hello everyone. Uh, again, today we are going to discuss phylogenetics. Today we will discuss about, about different methods of phylogenetics which are used in phylogenetics. In the previous lecture, we discussed about the different formulas, how many trees can be constructed and all that. Today we are going to discuss what are the various methods which are used in making a phylogenetic tree. Phylogenetics part 4. In the previous lecture, we discussed different shapes of the evolutionary tree, conversion of an unrooted tree to a rooted tree, and formulas related to rooted trees and unrooted trees, and cladograms and phylograms. In this lecture, we will discuss about different methods of tree construction. So, let's start. So, me methods of phylogenetic analysis. So, there are basically two different types of methods of phylogenetic analysis that is distance based methods or character based methods which are also called as discrete methods. In distance based method again we have three different types of methods depending on different algorithms. Number one is UPGMA method, number two is Fitch Margoliash method and number three is neighbor joining method. Whereas in character based method, we have two different types of methods depending on the algorithm. Number one is maximum parsimony method and number two is maximum likelihood method. So let's see distance based methods now. Distance based methods. Here the trees are calculated by similarity of sequences and are based on distances. The resulting tree does not necessarily reflect evolutionary relationships. Distance method compress all the individual differences between pair of sequences into a single number. So the first method is UPGMA that is unweighted pair group method using arithmetic averages. It is the simplest method. It assumes a molecular clock and produce it, produ produces a rooted unscaled tree. The second method is Fitch Margoliash method. This method is slightly more complicated than UPGMA. It does not assume a molecular clock and it produces an unrooted scale tree. The third type of method is neighbor joining method. This method tries to correct the UPGMA method for its assumption that rate of evolution is same in all the taxa. A point can be noted here that distance based methods are used when more variation and intermediate level of similarity is present. The next type of methods are character based method that is the discrete methods. Trees are calculated by considering the various possible pathways of evolution and are based on parsimony or likelihood methods. This method uses each alignment position as evolutionary information to build a tree. In, in character based methods, we have two different methods that is maximum parsimony and maximum likelihood. The maximum parsimony method. First, we will study this. In this method, for each position in the alignment, all possible trees are evaluated and are given a score based on the number of evolutionary changes needed to produce the observed sequence changes. The most parsimonious tree is the one with the fewer evolutionary changes for all sequences to derive from a common ancestor. This is a more time consuming method than the discrete method. It, this method is used for closely related sequences. The second method is maximum likelihood method. This method also uses each position in the alignment, evaluates all possible trees and calculates the likelihood for each tree using an explicit model of evolution. Parsimony just looks for fewer evolutionary changes as we have seen before. The likelihood for each Aligned positions are then multiplied to provide 
likelihood for each tree. The tree with the maximum likelihood is the most probable tree. This, this method is the slowest one, but uh, it seems that it gives the best result and the most information about the tree. It can be used for any set of sequences. So ultimately, we came to a conclusion that distance methods are used when more variation and intermediate level of similarity is present. Whereas maximum parsimony method is used for closely related sequences and the variation is similar among all pair of sequences. Maximum likelihood method work for any set of sequences but they are useful when sequences are very variable. So today we have studied different types of methods for constructing a phylogenetic tree based on different statistical approaches and algorithms. Thank you.